July 14th, St. Bonaventure. St. Bonaventure, Cardinal and Doctor of the Church, was born in Bangorio, then part of the Papal States in Italy in the year 1221. At age of four, a grave illness put the boy's life at risk and after unsuccessfully trying every means to save him his mother begged st francis who was still alive to place his hands on him and restore his health she promised st francis that she would dedicate the boy to the service of god in the franciscan order if her prayers were heard st francis prayed over the child and the boy was immediately healed before working that great miracle st francis exclaimed in italian o oh, bonaventure good luck from that time forward the child was called bonaventure even though his baptismal name was john at age twenty two he entered the franciscan order to fulfill his mother's promise after the novitate bonaventure was sent to the university of paris to hear the classes of the famous alexander of hales in all studies he sought first the honor of god and his own sanctification and renounced all vanities and pernicious curiosities in his studies he was content to seek the necessary without losing his time in useless discussions which often obscure the truth more than serve a good cause his life was so pure that his master alexandra of hales said it seems that original sin had no place in him although his life was a continual practice of penances his face reflected a joy that only pure souls know at age thirty-two he was named doctor of theology in the university of paris five years later he was elected general superior of the franciscan order amid his work as general superior st bonaventure found time to write books on different subjects in which he gave proof of his vast knowledge he composed beautiful works on the devotion of the blessed virgin mary and also a biography on the founder of the order st francis of assisi he was the contemporary of st thomas aquinas and at times would receive a visit from him st thomas was a great admirer of bonaventure's sanctity and wisdom on one of his visits st thomas asked st bonaventure from what books he drew his inspiration the later pointed to the crucifix and said this is the library from which i draw all that i teach and all that i write when pope gregory x elevated him to cardinal the messengers of this pontifical honor found the saint busy working in the kitchen although raised to his high position bonaventure continued his life as a humble religious invited to take part in the second council of lyon he raised general admiration for his deep wisdom as well as for his zeal for the cause of the church at the council he was seated at the pontiff's right hand his piety and eloquence won over the greeks to the catholic union and then his strength failed he died while the council was still sitting and was buried by the assembled bishops in the year 1274. An example of his writing, reasoning, and logic can be found in an excerpt of his book, The Mirror of the Blessed Virgin Mary. In chapter 5, the grace of the Blessed Virgin Mary is true, immense, manifold, and exceedingly useful, he says. First, consider the truth of the grace of mary gabriel said to mary thou hast found grace that grace is true which is found with god who is truth he says with god and not with the devil for the devil offers the grace of an evil prosperity that one may sin freely holfernes who signifies the devil says drink now and sit down and be merry for thou hast found favor before me st boniface references the book of judith chapter twelve he says with god not with the world because the world that is with worldly men false grace and false contrition are often found this is but a sample of his logical mind and the eloquence of his writing reflection from alban butler the fear of god says st bonaventure forbids a man to give his heart to transitory things which are the true seeds of sin